Here's England's starting seven. Amma Agwezi, that strength and depth at the back, how you'd love to be part of that. But defensively, England stand up. Yeah, definitely. We've got a great defensive line up there. As Tamsin mentioned earlier, we still have Jade Clark and Natalie Panagari on the bench of wing defences. Serena Griffin can move into defence. So a great defensive line up here from England. Going with Mento and Asura Brown as a defensive combination in the circle. I said about skills, look at Rachel Nanyonga at goal attack. Her unorthodox skill made her a favourite at every tournament she's stopped for. The t-shirt, do the Nanyonga, is a personal favourite. Chelsea Pittman, been there, done it before for Australia. The Roses, her adopted home. And she's determined to propel this team forward. Other main threats for Uganda as Guthrie takes in the applause of the crowd. In Peace Proscovia, they've got someone so calm, such a target under that post. Yeah, Pete does her job well. She's composed. She controls the team. She'll be shouting when the ball's at the other end. You'll see her up at the defensive line, shouting, trying to control her team and help them out. There's 139 caps for Jeeva Mentor, 97 for Osora Brown, Housby 59, 100 caps for Joe Hart. And everywhere you look through this England team, there's strength in depth. As for Uganda, well, they've got numbers around the 40s and 39s when it comes to international caps but it's really over the past couple of years that they've shown what they can do on this court and how they can measure up to the best teams in the world the she cranes then booking their spot here at the world cup thanks to beating zambia 64 56 on the penultimate day of their regional qualifiers but now they're here they absolutely believe that they can take on the best in the world. England up against Uganda here in Liverpool. Waiting for the ball to be delivered. We saw the little coin toss beforehand. Amma Agwezi, former England captain. I don't know if you were quite as generous with the the, the coin toss, but Serena Guthrie and Peace Proscovia said, would you like it? No, you have it. Would you like it? No, you have it. Eventually she took it and the centre pass goes the way of the England captain, Serena Guthrie. Back home from Australia, applying her trade on the home courts of England. Now what can she do on the world stage? And it's Guthrie, fires it into Housby at that goal attack position. Goes back to the doctor, Leila Gasket, who's been playing in Australia. Joe Hart, 100 caps to her name. And how's be back to Pittman on the edge of the circle. Just pointing out that's as of today, 100 caps. So this is Joe's 100 cap. She'll be wanting to do well for herself personally, for the team, but actually your 100 cap is a significant milestone. We hear there's some special trainers in the building. At the moment, she's got some old favourites on. Well worn are those. Always important to wear your trainers in before yeah, exactly. stepping out. I was going to say the special trainers might need a bit of wearing in before they can be played on this court, this World Cup. Uganda, though. Meme and Proskovia. But England with the ball. Jeeva Mentor, so used to digging her team from the back. An unfortunate stepping call there from Asoro Brown. We saw Serena got three, actually got possession of that ball, showing her athleticism on the circle edge and winning the contact against her opponent. Going, England. England have won possession back, so hopefully they can capitalise on this. That's good. Asking where the ball should be taken. There's Ebony Asoro Brown, Gusketh combining again. Base contact wing. Early talk from the umpires. Pittman with a hug of Harton. Just congratulating her on 100. <laughs> a bit of miscommunication there about whose ball it was. Although I prefer both of my teammates going for the ball as opposed to none. Circle edge. Guthrie with the thumbs up. Contact, goal defense, knee. Back to side. Good job, Hannah. A nice shooter, shooter parts there from Housby to Harton. Inspiring the next generation, Joe Harton. Plenty left in the tank for her with a 100th cap. Good land from Guthrie. And Harton again 
three sets. Sweet. It was a great drive there from Chelsea Pittman for the second phase. So she drove across, pulled two defenders. That left Serena Guthrie open wide and the pass easily into the circle then. Nanyonga came out for it. Mamie trying to find her hands but can't. Not only did she not get the ball then, she also got a little shoulder felt from Osoho Brown. Peace Proskovia won't mind that. Lots of rolling off the body inside that circle. Ugandan captain used to playing up against the English defence. He's playing in the Super League for Loughborough Lightning before heading out to Australia. Quick hands and ball again from England. And I played in the Super League in the same team at Proskovia um, a few years ago. And she was, she was really good then, but I think she definitely learned her trade and she's grown so much as a player since then. They need to get the ball to her now, Uganda, because all in the hands of the Red Roses. I think in the early stages of the game, you're trying to get used to the umpires and see what, what they're going to play like as well as the opposition that you're playing against. And at the moment, um, there's a, a bit of whistle going on, so England will need to just get used to that and set into the game, as will Uganda. Uganda just being patient with the ball. England are almost in a sort of zone. Um, they're still being a little bit one one, but they're just covering the space. They're not chasing their players around, but Uganda are being really patient with that ball. A great swing across the circle then to the wing attack as the goal attack Nanyonga drove in and she puts it away. Perfect for Uganda. Her splits were double her height then, weren't they? She may be sure she's so oh agile in that God. circle. I think what's really significant is when you do that split landing, you need the strength to be able to actually stand up. So it's all well and good doing a split landing and landing with your feet as wide as possible, but you need to be able to recover from there and that takes a lot of strength. And then Yonga showed that right there. Oh, Yella. And then they're combining. And there's Rachel Nanyonga again. A standard move from a goal attack there, so the ball swings across to a circle, um, a mid-quarter on the edge of the circle, and a goal attack sweeps around the front of the circle. What Nanyoga does really well is that split landing as she catches the ball. She gets closer to the post than she would be if she just took it where she was running to. Helps be a little bit hesitant there to release the ball to Harton. Comfortably found someone on the circle edge in Serena Guthrie to lay off to. The, the England circle are struggling slightly more than I expected them to. But I think it's because the Ugand Uganda defenders are actually working really well in combination. When you've got a really tall shooter combination, it's easiest as a defender to work with your partner. Would have been easy having seen that score just creep away. But they've shaken it off, Uganda. And Yonga again. Adjo with a little bounce into a yellow. Uganda being very patient with the ball, flirting with the three seconds a little bit, but no pause from the umpire so far, so it's working well for them. An amazing ball then. Proskovia then drew forward, sold the defender in a mentor and dropped back. Wing attacks, perfect timing. She took the ball free from any defender. Now Uganda will build that defence again. England trying to just work out the puzzle. Housby coming out for the ball. Pittman on the edge of the circle. Swings the ball back round. I think that ball was for Harton, but luckily go through there to back her up. And whatever mistake you make, you don't mind as long as your teammates back in your turn. That was a classic example. Serena showing her captaincy there. Namuea, a goalkeeper just standing to one side. Great take from Peace Proskova. Amazing. Real target. And there Contact is Proskova again. With the wing defense. Step back when you pass. That's it. Umpar Michelle Thipper being very specific about where she wants the penalty to be taken. So not wanting the, the team to gain an advantage. Contact. She's moving the back right, right where she thinks they need to be. But Peace Proskova was grateful for that contact. She was on one leg for about four years then. <laughs> no exaggeration there. Never. 
And we see there how Chelsea Pittman does work off the line before the whistle to get free. As a wing attack, you would love to take the ball free from any defender in the centre third in the first phase. And so Pittman there starting off the line, doing a lot of work so that she's free when she pops over the line to take the first phase centre pass. Joe Harton applauds the feed in from Pittman. Now Uganda come again. Oh, yellow yeah, with the ball. Joe as well, an option. No panic from Uganda at the moment, just working the ball around court. None whatsoever. They know that they have to work hard, they have to do the moves. Their time is, in, is impeccable, so as the ball carry gets the ball, there's somebody popping free at the right moment. Proskovia coming out of the circle, she's not afraid to do that. I think when she came to Loughborough and when I played with her, she was happy to run out of the circle as a goal shooter. And in England, we teach shooters, we need someone under the post, we need a target. So get back in your um, goal circle. But actually, for Uganda, Peace is a great playmaker. She opens up the circle and she moves in. And, and when she combines with Nanyonga, it's actually really great because they just balance each other. Three tests in 2018 between these two sides and Uganda in that first Set test in particular gave England a real problem. That is now too many contacts. It's a caution for the system. Outside. Caution delivered for Oyela, Stella Oyela with the caution. Yeah, Mark heading the umpire, just um, making sure that Uganda know he's watching the game and paying attention. So initially you get a caution, so it's just if your play is slightly inappropriate, you'll get a caution. That will escalate to a warning and then you might be sent off. Initially, you're typically sent off for two minutes. If you come back on off that two minutes and infringe again, you might be permanently ejected from the game. Love how you looked at me when you said that. <laughs> Great take. Now Uganda come again. Mental there with her reverse hand, doesn't quite get onto it enough, Proskovia pulls it in. Rachel Nanyonga with eyeing out the oh, range, but there was the contact Interesting call, call then, I think. Um, Mentor there using her derriere just slightly, but it was in the, off, um, the blind spot of the umpire, and she did really well. Uganda unlucky to um, get a contact against them there. Now they regroup, pushing England out of the circle. Did well then to keep Housby out of it too. They're passing to me. I'm not playing today, guys. <laughs> the ball comes flying over the hoarding towards Ama Agwazi, but it's somewhere with it. I wish I could get out there. It's not, not rejecting the team that I'm now in. The Sky team is a great team, and I'm happy to be here, happy that you've accepted me, but I would love to be out there now. Part of the World Feed team too, Ama Agwazi. Apologies. <laughs> I'm part of two teams now, that's even better. Before it was just one. in both camps. <laughs> that means she'll claim whoever wins the World Cup. Definitely. Yes. Emme with a, a bounce in to Rachel Nanyonga. Uh -huh. England! Easy does it. Nice shot there and a nice high five. As shooters love to have that connection and touching each other, just making sure they know we've done a good job. Almost swing attack in the, in the face of the defenders. Beside the wing attack. Every time England feel like they're pulling away a bit, Uganda come back at them. Two goals in it. The chance of defence, defence around the arena. Range offside, wing defence. We did mention earlier that when center. Uganda played England last year, there was a very tough game that they played um, the very first test match. It was very close, and so it will be interesting to see how we go here. Just the four goals in it. In that first test, 50 46. Uganda really came out as they have done now, but the call against them swings again the way of England. Harton had to fight off an Amrea. She took that ball really well. She actually came round and curved so that the goalkeeper then couldn't actually come for that interception. So, a great take there from Harton. Great ball there, and Pittman just knows ball exactly where the goal inside. circle is. She does a brilliant drive to the pocket. The ball's released, perfectly um, placed, and she takes the ball, lands on the circle edge, and that's really important Uganda. because you don't want your defender getting their arms up in between you and your um, the shooter Better that you're feeding to. That circle for England, Housby and Harton, both playing their trade in oh, Australia. Seen a yes. game grow as England's well. 
interestingly, they both play for teams in Sydney, but opposing teams. So they're bitter rivals. And so two weeks ago, they were bitter rivals at club level. And now they've come here and they've got to be friends. Pittman finding the space of Joe Harton. One, two, three, not the seconds on the clock, but the passes to get it there, and England sink another. And the roars from the crowd are just electrifying. I'm getting excited, and I'm not even playing. Bouncing from Pittman, angry, fast, perfect. Can House be obliged? Contact goalkeeper here. There was a bit of contact. Harton down and up again. There was contact on the post too, that went for a wobble. But she's back up, she's comfortable. Two and a half minutes of this first quarter remaining. Peace Proskovia, the Uganda captain, comes out for it. Meme combining with Rachel Nanyonga. The ball round the corner from Osara Brown. Contact goal shooter. Oh, oh, that's a tough call there from the defender, but Jeeva Mental does really well. I, in my opinion, it was a 50-50 contact, but um, England take it there and they're moving the ball through the court pretty quickly. Space found again from Pittman to Guthrie on the edge of the circle and Harson from here. Again, just looked like it was off. So Uganda will try Major and take advantage. As we tried really hard to get that rebound, she was Goal being attack, defended contact. away from the post by the defender, but actually jumped up and managed to get a tip on it. Unfortunately, not quite enough to gain possession of the rebound for England. But Uganda did really well and still patiently moving it down the court. Agio with that patience. Proskovia had come out for it, but now runs down and into the minefield of that circle. Doesn't reach her. Housby too with the Sora Brown. Driving the team forward. The layoff from Pittman to Hart. Over her shoulder back into Pittman. One, two, combination. Instruction. And Joe Harton is now eight from nine. A good That's hundred cap um, shooting tally for Harton. She'll be she'll be proud. But not as proud, I imagine, as Mr. and Mrs. Harton. <laughs> so just real elastic in between those three at the moment, just combining like a bit of string. Final minute of this quarter. Uganda, just the six goals on the board. Eight goals was the lowest quarter score for Uganda in three tests last year. Just a, a tip there from Pittman, and it was backed up by one of her teammates. Uganda, I think, will be really frustrated because they do have possession, they are being patient, and then they make oh. little errors like that one. Unfortunately, Harton unable to keep possession of it for England, but Uganda working it well through court. They just need to be slightly Contact more patient, center. aware where England are, keep the timing on their movements, and then they've got the Hold shooters time. that can put it away in Proskovia and Nanyonga. Just waiting for the ball to come are. back. Rolls off the back of Serena Guthrie and Oyela looking for an option. Meme was that option on the edge of the circle, but Jeeva Mentor such target in there in Peace Proskovia, but when you've got the arms in and around of Mentor, you felt them on your back. <laughs> I am. For those in friendly terms, not in fury, but feeling it the other way, and oh, the long one drop, but not into the hands of Joe Harden. Last few seconds, Uganda. They won't have enough time on the clock 15 6 then the score and this was one of those quarters that england at times were pulled back by uganda uganda have certainly shown what they're all about but the high fives all round know that in that circle up that other end england have been clinical they're a team that want to stamp their authority on this tournament and they're 15 6 ahead England 15-6 up on Uganda. It's their first game of the Netball World Cup. The final game in this session on court one. Over on court two. Scotland up against Samoa will be underway shortly. But this, our focus. The Commonwealth champions on their home court. Sora Brown and Guthrie combining. Amma Agwazi alongside me. We saw quite an extensive warm-up in that quarter time from Mary Cholhook, who's an option for Uganda from the bench. Attention on the other end at the moment. Do you feel that's one area that, that perhaps Uganda could capitalise? Done all right in that circle. 
Yeah, definitely. I think um, Cholhok is a great option to come on. Nanyonga shot four from four, and Proskovia has been shooting really well. I would love to see Proskovia go to goal attack, Cholhok to come on, and potentially Nanyonga go to wing attack. She is a, Nanyonga is a great goal attack, and we've seen her work really hard. But I think defensively, England are really dominant, and so it will just be a great change-up to see what they can do. Cholok is slightly less experienced than Proskovia, and so I think that's why Proskovia is still out there and she's the captain. But I think they just need to change it up a little bit because England have started to dominate now. There's Cholok applauding from the bench. The shock of red hair. You might see that on court shortly. At the moment, though, ball in hand for England. Bandage instruction and offside. A good stronghold there from Harton. There was a bit of a tussle there between Harton and Namwaya under the post. Held your ground well, pulled that ball in and recovered. Having to work through the whole court, Uganda. Growing, Uganda. And to get some joy on that from Proskovia. Oyela. Ajio and Nanyonga Danger at the back side, there, backing up really well. I think it's really important that Uganda have the backup here. We see um, Meme doing a, a, a one-two give and go with the backup defenders. Contact, if it's not on forwards, you always need someone in the back. Inside and the, the defenders here for Uganda are very good at attacking and supporting their team. Lovely little step in England. from Peace Proskovia. It's good basketball experience in this. Uganda side two. Bad and drop agility side. from them. Contact centre elbow. Yes, How else be a bit unsure then to give the ball yes. into um, Harton at goal shooter? I thought Harton had a really good hold then, but How else opted to go to a mid quarter and build to get the ball closer to the That's circle it. edge? So the Uganda defence doing well. Bad Put some doubt in the mind of those England attackers, but. Goal defense. Goal defense so strong forward. in both positions, England, goal attack and goal shoot. And I think that's what's really difficult for teams because if you've got a really dominant goal shooter, defenders goal potentially defense. double on that goal shooter, which then exposes the goal attack to more pressure. But when you've got two dominant shooters, a goal shooter and a goal attack, it means that defenders have to decide who they're going to cover and what they're going to do as a pairing. Great movement and speed then from Uganda. Yella does well with a core to keep that on. Tries to find Proskovia. She takes Mentor out, takes the ball, and takes the goal. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, tracked that ball really well. I think when the ball's running away from you, if you just slam your hands on top of it, tell the ball who's boss, and she did that perfectly. Tell the ball who's boss. <laughs> I've got this image of you, night for a game, <laughs> talking to the ball. Anybody who will listen. That amazing pull in there from Proskovia. Mentor gave it to her, made it really difficult, but Proskovia showing what she does best. That ball there was floated up a little bit to Ayala. I thought Asora Brown was going to come out and take it. She's good at reading the play and taking those flies. She didn't that time. Maybe she wants to warm up into it a little bit. Great defensive lean from both English defenders. England. She still puts it away, though. Such a great style, though, from Nanyonga. And Uganda fans enjoying that moment again. Round the outside from Brother. Pittman, and Guthrie so can't hang on to it. Jo Hart was saying that she was in a position yes. there, and, and maybe, again, yes. she was offering for it. Yeah, I think I mentioned earlier that six of the English girls play in Australia, and so they'll still be finding their feet in amongst the team, working in those combinations. And so hopefully as the tournament builds for England, they will be able to work on that. Uganda, though, however, still oh. being patient with the ball. Got three almost with one of her classic interceptions. Working out. really hard. Oh, and that's a really tough call there for Got three. In my opinion, it was 50-50, but Uganda did really well. Meme there, held her ground solid, not got three off her feet, and it's resulted Uganda. in a Uganda goal. You don't just have to stand up with skill, but you have to stand up physically and just running through. I guess the, the ultimate is, was there a step in from Guthrie? That moment's gone, and that's what happens when such fast-paced netball. Moment gone, on with the next one. Definitely, you can't dwell as a player. When something happens, attackers, I think, personally, tend to dwell on things a little bit too much. If you lose the ball, we just need you on defence. We need to win it back. We need all players on deck. 
Nine goals was the difference. Down to seven goals now. Back out to eight. But you'll see this toing and throwing as well. So perhaps a, a change. Guthrie just positionally just having a word with the Center, defensive instruction. team behind her. Center, trying to communicate maybe a, a change in the way that they want Center to play. play. Yeah, I think a change in structure. So you, as a defender, you can play one-on-one -on -one and just focus solely on your own opponent. Or you, can play, or you can play in a unit and hopefully right. then your back defenders come out just like Diva Mentor did and take a fly. So I think just working on it, not necessarily just for Uganda, but what they're going to work on throughout the um, duration Outside, of the tournament. Un unfortunate then, potentially a little push in the back from Housby, but you need to be strong and you need to have court. Umpires don't always see everything because there's only one of them. It's a very big court to cover. So unfortunate there that Uganda lost possession from the offside court. Guthrie was tripped on the way through. That's intentional. You're already on a caution. It's a warning now. So you talked about the stages. That was a warning there. There was a little trip on the way through. So next time she's off for two minutes. Yes, potentially. So she'll have to be really careful. Ayala, she's actually playing really well, and use, um, Uganda are using her really well to connect the court. Her and uh, Guthrie are just getting into a little bit of a tussle, so she'll have to watch herself. Otherwise, Uganda will definitely struggle if they are one player down for two minutes. England. No one wants to see that happen. That is contact. But the umpire has been very clear, just looking to clear up contact goalkeeper. some of that physicality, goalkeeper. particularly in the midcourt. Yes. Great contest. Housby steps in. And if you're feeling perhaps the pressure on court, just to have a look up at the scoreboard and see that it keeps ticking over, now back out to 10 goals. Yeah, definitely. And I think um, for the opposing team, you're looking up at the scoreboard thinking, how did the score cre creep away from us? Proskovia managing to cling onto that ball, um, unlike the score and how it's creeping contact away from Uganda. Attack. They will want to instill their um, presence on this tournament. They know that they're a good, strong team and they just need to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Winning balls England. back one at goal at a time. High tens for that one, deserved it. Keith Proskovia. Perfect timing there. Agio just yeah. lost on the baseline from Housby. Did a cut back, Carton expected her and fed the perfect ball to the baseline. Contact, England centre, England centre. Contact Outplay. called against Contact. Serena Guthrie. She'll go and stand by Ruth Memi. It's the bounce over to the edge of the circle. Nanyonga was offering a game, but Contact not set right. Defense. Set it outside, players. There's that combination to know that you can play that ball through and that Pluscovia will be there for it too. Contact, goal defence, you've got the arm. Beside the goal defence. The side Brown blown out of the game, and, and sometimes that's that's the worry. Yeah, definitely. But I think it's very, um, as a defender, you want to pick and choose your contacts. You don't want to be blown out of the game unnecessarily. So just then, apparently, it was for an arm. And so the, sh the goal attack didn't necessarily feel any pressure from Osoro Brown. So if you're going to get away, um, if you're going to get caught for contact, you want to make sure that the attacker contact knows you've contacted them. No soft contacts, but given, contact given, away, given away, basically. Show them you mean it. Contact out of Pretty place. much. Don't listen to that. You, are, you don't want to deliberately contact, but if you're going to have to stand out of play and your team's going to play with six players, yeah, no. you want to make Injury sure that you stood out for a, a good reason. Um, well, we're talking about whether there would be a change and what a change this is. Coming on, the young defender, Fran Williams, she's got a real big future, but to come on the world stage, to make the World Cup, she was talking about what that meant to her. But then to make your World Cup debut, what a moment. This is a massive deal for Fran Williams. And she's really excited to be here. She deserve, deservedly is here. As you said, she's got an amazing future ahead of her. Plenty more England caps to come, but this is her fourth England cap and she'll be really excited that she's got out here. Get, shake those nerves and hopefully we'll have a great game. She was captain of the England under-21s, has played for Wasps in the Super League. Off the ball. She's just talking about more communication needed England. defensively. England. Another one up for England. England centre. Construction advantage goal. 
beautiful feed. I've just noticed a couple of times it's been England centre and Uganda are taking it and Guthrie's not really aware. I think at the moment oh. in this game... She was aware then. She's <laughs> very aware. At the moment in this game, it's not necessarily um, that significant, but I think as games That's tighten up, you want to know if it's your centre. People are preparing behind you, and so I think Guthrie just needs to step up Contact on that. Contact centre at the edge, where you are. Guthrie and Harton combining again. Well time. It's intimidation. It's intimidation and it's a caution. Okay? There's a caution in, the in there for now where they've got to clean up some of these attack. elements, Uganda, because all the great work that they're doing attacking wise on the court England throwing just goal some of these little little moments yeah definitely so intimidation was the, the call then line. and that's basically if Six you sort of obstruct um some of these eyes um and if the umpire deems that that's deliberate then you'll get called up so you're not allowed to it's very difficult because i think as a defender you're trying to intimidate your opponent and your shooter you but you can't really obstruct their eyes and that's called intimidation Uganda um, have Contact been called for 25 center penalties, center. almost double that of England's 12. And I think, as you've said, Caroline, England Please are doing really center. well, uh, benefiting from um, those penalties that Uganda have given away. So they just need to clean that up and capitalise on their possession. England. I did mention earlier that if you're going to give away a penalty, you want to make sure they feel it. There's been a bit of tussle, there's been a few bottoms on the court, but I think the game needs to be a bit cleaner from Uganda. Step. Lots of talking happening delay, across bring it court. Bring it there was a delay bring it then. Delay, a caution, stand out of play. caution against Leila Gaskus. She's saying she didn't hear it. And she apologised for that. Unfortunately, some um, some infringements have an automatic penalty, up. and so that Come was an side. automatic penalty, and it's a caution. Um, if you don't set the penalty, and the umpire's been trying to tell offense. you where it is, that's an automatic caution. Um, cautions and warnings and sending offs do not count after this game's finished. Um, potentially, sometimes sending offs do, but you don't want to have too many cautions and warnings. You don't want to attract the attention of the umpire, essentially. Good land. Gander now building again. You've got the skills cut out some of those moments, Contact not attract the attention of the umpires and get themselves back into this one. Rachel Nanyonga just with the little board over to Peace Proskovia. And she nails England. it. The shooting stats at the moment on this court are really good from both teams. So Proskovia at 10 out of 10, 100%, and, and Nanyonga Goldberg. shooting at 88%. Goldberg. The England girls yes. at 95 and 91%. It's, it's a great shooting percentage. I think Uganda's issue is um, volume. So 10, 10 shots from a goal shooter in almost a half of netball is quite limited. We just talked Joe Harton into that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that crazy former England captain, best mate of Joe Harton. I was we'll going to say, back to her. I'm supposed to be impartial. So <laughs> sorry to those on the World Service who are hearing me slightly being biased to England. I'm not Ball trying to be, contact. but they are. I do have a slight allegiance. Step back. Step back, right back. Brilliant stats for Uganda. Just need to get the ball into that circle a bit more, but that's the fantastic defensive work being done by England. There's a yellow. Rachel and Yonga comes out for it. Oh, perfect timing there, Proskovia. She threw her arms up in the air to shake Jeeva Mentor. England. Perfectly timed, free under the post, and Uganda capitalised. We need a bit more of that from them. Last minute of this half coming up. Oh, can't get that ball in. They'll have another go, though. Good backing up from England. Finding Housby through there, Guthrie. Stand beside goalkeeper. And the step in, and there's the 30 up for England. Centre pass, Uganda. Swings the ball round to the edge of the circle. They'll be aware of the time on the clock, but plenty of that. Who's there to gobble it up? Jeeva Mentor. Often voted one of the world's best defenders. Always ranks in that top seven players. Uganda doing a really good job then of keeping England wide. Unfortunately, Godfrey's hit the deck. Um, Nanyonga is working really hard. She's very physical. She's very much on the body. I think she's just trying to roll Godfrey up. She potentially has been watching um, some previous defense? games. Guthrie previously used to be riled up, and at the moment she's a captain, so we want to make sure that she 
doesn't get rolled up. She stays controlled. She stays calm because the team we reads of that and they feel the that. It's to get the defense step forward. Just a bit of a hip check on the way through. Last few seconds of this half for England. This to make it 31. Drop straight through from Helen Housby. Now defensively, can Uganda still put the pressure on? Maybe a quick transition needed from England. Five seconds on the clock. Unfortunately, the times run out. England wanted to really rush that centre pass because they knew there was little time. They wanted to get one more goal, building into this um, the next quarter. Pretty convincing without that last goal. 31-18, the score then for England at half time. They've had to stand up to the physicality of Uganda. Uganda, if they can cut out some of those moments when perhaps they've been found wanting by the umpire, then their clean game shows what they've got. 31-18 at half time. is one of those games where actually if Uganda start to play with a bit more fun a bit more of a smile on their face take out some of that those angry little moves that we've seen they're 31 18 down then they'll improve in this quarter yeah definitely I think our statistician has told us that Uganda struggle in first quarters in their last five matches they've lost by 10 goals 7 goals 8 goals 12 goals in the first quarter and then they kind of run with teams so actually if they could nail their first quarters they'd be so much better and stick with teams. It's England though with ball in hand. Goal attack Fran fraction. Williams on a goal defence. Contact wing defence. Hit through the back of Pittman. Interesting that Neville hasn't made any wing. changes to her team. Um, just I think Sometimes you want to embed the team that are playing and solidify those partnerships, and so that's what's happening now. It'll be interesting to see if there's any changes that's in the last quarter, but for, the now, for now, she's kept Main it the same. Goal defense. Defensively, Contact though, wing, for Uganda. In that circle, Mohai Namwea is now joined in that circle by Joan Numpangu. Keep our contact. Just trying... There's a, there's a bit more movement in that circle now as well. They'll try and keep England out to the top and the edge of it. Goal defence obstruction. But in her 100th Uganda. game, a 100th cap waiting for her. Jo Hart has just been pretty impressive in this one. She has 90% shooting. She'll be, she'll be pleased with that. Um, she'll want more because she always demands more from herself. But she's having a, a great game at the moment. She's What's available when they need her to be available. She's open at the circle to balance with Harton. She's doing really well. The one hand of Rachel Nanyong. Contact on the kids instead of hands. Peace Proskovia, the Uganda Three captain, one. waited to the last minute to bib up. We saw Mary Cholhock again, who's an option in there, warming up. Put Proskovia on. It's interesting that they have taken on Adjo at goal defence. I think she was actually a key well, player for attack. Uganda. She was doing really well. So it'll be interesting to see what Nampungu does Next. there goal in defense. the back. Contact. Contact. <laughs> the goal attack, so I think stamping forward. her authority is what I would call that. Letting her know she was there. Face goal defence, moving off. That was a little bit of the Karate Kid you crane from Helen Housby. In it goes. So yellow at centre for Uganda. Goal attack obstruction. Oh. Interesting that you mentioned the cranes because the Uganda team are called the She Cranes. And so Housby was obviously paying homage to her opponent. Play on. That's what we'll go for. Contact goal attack. So England dominating those first couple of quarters. Contact now 34-19 up. Long way to go in this one. Contact goal defense. Williams there just giving away a few penalties. She'll be um, keen to get rid of those and make sure that she's not standing out of play and she's being effective while she's in there. Just the fourth cap for Fran Williams. Tracy Neville bringing the youth through in this England side too. Uganda are doing a great job defensively. Main They're really keeping contact. England out of the middle. They can't drive and penetrate. They're holding the ball center for a contact. long, long Very period of time. And England will be frustrated with this, but great, great defence here from Uganda. Uganda. 
just turns off everything that's around her. Confirmation of those changes for both sides. Now the cry of defence, defence again from the Uganda fans who are sat just behind the post that they're heading towards. Although no, they'll turn their back on it. That's unfortunate there. So the goal attack there was working really well defensively to protect the space so that the ball could swing all the way across the circle to the wing attack. Unfortunately, she did get calls for using her hip, so contact there. Center obstruction outside. Given all the noise inside the arena, Hartman shutting it out again. But that take from Serena Guthrie, and she will keep going, the captain through court. The instruction goal attack. She'll take knock, she'll bounce back up and try and drive this team. She moved back to play in England this Going season, England. ahead of the World Cup. We Guthrie with it again. Back to Fran Williams. Center obstruction. Great Beside speed and athleticism um, displayed there from Goat Free. I was just about to say, Harton puts away as if it's shooting practice, and she didn't. But England with the rebound, and so the ball isn't locked Again, from the end. Harton will be disappointed with that. She'll want, she wants to score every time she gets the ball. She's a really goal determined attack. player, and everybody feeds off that from her. Advantage contact goal is The matching up height-wise quite well in that circle now. But up the other end, Gander across the circle, feeding. Left and right, Peace Proskovia on her backside. She gets back up again. At the line. We see a yellow there playing Here's back to the line again. Nothing on. As Proskovia fell to the ground, there was nothing to pass to. But again, the defenders on the line helping back up. Contact advantage. Did really well then, though, to, to split that England defence and eventually find a way through. Yeah, I thought that Uganda would grow more into the game and feel more confident to let the ball go to Proskovia. I guess when you've got a defender one of the world's best in Diva Mental, you're very hesitant, but I, I expected them to let the ball go to Proskovia. We've seen she can put the ball from the air really comfortably, so I think they should be more confident in their ability to let the ball go to her. Diva Mental with her 139th cap for England in this one. And Fuka on it, wing defence for Uganda, takes the ball. Williams there hunting for the ball. She was confident going for an inception from someone else. Unfortunately, she didn't make it then. This match on court one at the moment. There's a tense affair over on court two. Just the two goals in it as Scotland leads Samoa 16-14. The other two teams in this group. And there's the court side by side. England face Scotland on Saturday at 3 p.m. local time. Uganda will take on Samoa at 3.25. Back-to-back -back matches at the Netball World Cup. A bit of this about playing all 12 players, but also trying to contain your energy to build through the tournament. Yeah, definitely, and it's a, it's a key balance and it's a difficult thing to manage. England do have a few injuries that they're carrying, and so you want to protect people, you want to gradually build them in. Some players potentially might not get on, and it might not be because they're not good enough, it might be because the, the team are being used wisely. Tracy Neville on the bench has just gone to sit next to Rachel Dunn who looked like, for all the world, she was just having a relaxing day by the beach. So laid back was Rachel Dunn. She got a free center. ticket to the netball, thought she'd come <laughs> in, sit center. on the bench and see what was you happening. You mean, I've got to go on court? What was Both that players. about? It'll be interesting right to see back. what position, um, if Rachel Dunn does get injected into the game, what position you'll go on at. It's always a key catch question. Structure when it's your, a significant cap that you're playing, do you get to play the whole game or do you get taken off? So Rachel Dunn typically plays goal shooter, but can play goal attack. Parson here with the 100th cap, so it'll be interesting to see what position Rachel Dunn gets to play. You get the feeling, no sentimentality from Tracy Neville. Particularly as she's seen as the Ugandan side not blown out of the water here, 39 22. Made contact shooter. Throw it. Send it third. Yep. Throw it, yes. Uganda ball. 
on the sidelines. Back to Nan Kruka. Finds Mamie. Rachel Nan Younger again. So much work being put on. Love a heat map on what she's done on the court. Beautiful oh, ball there in. Williams tries to contest it. Proskovia hits the deck again. Office. She's used to this. That's it. In Australia, where she plays her trade, it's very physical. She's used to this level of physicality and contact. Savannah's great goal attack. Change contact offside. With... <laughs> Hold time. Wing defence. That's now persistent contact. It's a caution. Circle edge. First caution of this half. We saw in that first Wing half, his first two quarters. And Fuka picks a caution up. Before. Now it's Helen Housby that's time, called time. Attack, pointed to her ankle. It's not Joe Hart that's going off. It's Housby with the goal attack bib. She's going to swap Harton across to that goal attack. And here comes Rachel Dunn. 36 years young for her 87th cap. And the roar Step from the crowd. Counts. Amazing, the crowd go wild. Yeah, Rachel Dunn, she's been in the England team. She's dropped out. That she's got a good career and working in, the, in a lab. But it's great that she can balance the two and play netball at this international level, as well as having that amazing career. For the moment, Rachel Dunn will watch from the back of the court up the other end. With England the trying to put the defensive pressure on again. I imagine some frustration there from Diva Mental. She came around um, Proskovia earlier with her outside hand, showing a clear distance between her and her opponent, but the umpire still deemed it to be contact. Pittman, half bib on, half bib off, finds Fran Williams. Contact, wing defence. Fuka's got to be careful. The contact call against her then. There's a trainer on court, and by that I mean one of the shoe variety. So time. time in a game is never held for any reason unless there's a significant injury. But also, yeah. your shoe if your shoe comes off, it's deemed unsafe. And so time is held for you to put your shoe on. So the shoe goes on, just about. If I'd been out on court that long, my ankles would be so large by now, I wouldn't get that trainer on. Okay. It's a good way to buy yourself some time if you can get your shoe off, if your what ankles you haven't swollen. If you can get your shoe off, if you kick your shoe off, the umpire will hold time, you don't need to leave the court. So I'm not suggesting that that's what's happened here. Sometimes accidentally or deliberately, attackers can kick defenders' shoes off. Oh! Possession, goal defence. She might be tall. Goal defence, possession. Rachel Dunn. Goal defence, possession. A possession call for then. One. So there was no contact, which means that the person who contact. attempted to get the ball, the umpire's deeming that they had possession of it. They have to take it. So it's not a penalty. Someone else can't come in. The four, England hustle on again. Defensively Three winning the ball contact. back. Harton with a one-two in. Great eyes and vision from Uganda's defence. Change wing attack obstruction. Throw in. Throw in. Dunn was head down straight into the circle. She's desperate to get her hands on ball. She sink one through the net. Got three took that so quickly. Change centre obstruction. And there's the cheer. That's what it means to Rachel Dunn, but that's also what it means to this home crowd. To see someone that's gone through the eras, gone through the changes with England, seen the professionalisation, which is easy to say, of the international side as well. Good land from Guthrie. Nine younger there with um, an uncharacteristic error breaking the center line. So on the centre parts, you don't, especially when it's your team centre parts, you don't want to give a free ball away to the opposition. And just then, before the umpire's whistle went, she came into the centre third too soon and Contact gave possession defense. to England. Sinks it, Joe Harden. Shooting 22 from 25 at 85%. Definitely great. And as a goal attack, you typically have a lower shooting load than as a goal shooter. So it will be interesting to see how Rachel Dunn and Harton balance this. Brilliant from Amoy. Look at that ability just to keep the ball on, but it ends up, and there's the killer, isn't it? When it ends up in the hands of the Roses. And Harton puts her hands to her head. She knows she's made a few errors. She threw that ball away. Unfortunately, the Ugandan couldn't keep it on. Fell back into Harton's hands, luckily for her, and she made another error. Again, as I've said, she'll be really disappointed in that, hoping to make amends here. 
Is this another for Rachel Dunn? Uganda, Uganda will be really keen to score here. We've mentioned before, teams want to get goals in succession, and Uganda haven't scored for a while. You want to keep the scoreboard ticking over, so it's really important for Uganda that they manage to score this goal now. Oh, peace. Peskovia looking round, hoping that that would end up in Ugandan hands, but England so quick on the back up and reading that one through. Chelsea just went and read it really well. She slightly was off the body. She came round and intercepted it. A perfect interception from, from an attacking player. They instruction goal attack. They hold time. Centre. That is now deliberate instruction. They got suspended. Centre. It's it's Two minutes it's off court for a yellow. persistent no. infringement. Then a yellow being told by the umpire. She sent. So Uganda will face the next two minutes with six players on court and their task just got ramped up again. However, because it's the centre, you can't play the center. game without a centre. So what happens is the centre bib has to be taken by another player on court. So you'll play still with six players. You have to have a centre because play starts every time from a centre part. Uganda will definitely struggle. They've, they've been struggling up until now. It's really unfortunate, but you can't continuously and persistently infringe in the game. The look from Meme then as she was handed the centre bib by Oyela. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate kick in the teeth then too. It would be a very bad look from me if a centre was handing me the centre bib. I'm not a centre. I'm not necessarily sure whether um, Meme actually plays in. in the centre position. So she'll be really frustrated. It's a difficult position to play. And especially when you've only got six players on court, it's going to be really difficult. In the 2003 World Cup final, Tema Paro Bailey um, playing for New Zealand. She got sent off. It was tragic. But however, after the two minutes, when she came back on, she knew she had to make up for it, and she came back on, and she was brilliant. And New Zealand won the game. Six but players of Uganda at the moment have got the boy in the circle. And Peace Proskovia lands that one in. And their centre at the moment. What can they do? Dealing with it. Nanfuka opts to go back. Oyela watches on from the side, just along from us. Change offside, shooter. Now they're moving the ball around court. Real sensible play this from Ukanda, just keeping ball in hand with the six players that they've got on court. And Gathry Uganda. had a little Uganda look, third. doesn't get it. Still Uganda Uganda. ball. Nampungu with it. Change offside, shooter. Nampungu just looking to ride out this third quarter. We'll go into the fourth quarter with those six players as well. Really sensible from Uganda. They're, they're using the court well, using those six players that they've got well. Yeah, and I think also, if you have six players and you can't score, you just want to retain possession, run down the clock. There's two minutes until your teammate can come back on. So if you can keep possession, that's a great thing because the opposition can't score. So there was all sorts in that quarter. Ultimately, England with a 44-26 lead but we've seen our first player sent for two minutes uganda will start that fourth quarter with just the six oyela watching on from the sidelines as the huddles happen on court i think those stats there not really that telling so a rebound a piece an interception a piece um i think what's losing the game for uganda is unforced errors We'll see Oyela back on court shortly. And here she comes. So they they lasted down to six players well. The end of that third quarter, Meme happier to put the centre back on Oyela's back. Yeah, they did really well, actually. Um, there weren't too many goal scores against them. So potentially they could play the rest of the game with six players. <laughs> I, I don't think the other you players can, will be too impressed. You want to make impressed. that suggestion? <laughs> I don't think they'll be too impressed. I have actually played in a game, um, probably the significant part of one quarter with as a goal defence without my wing defence, and it is a really difficult task. With the World Cup ahead, there's lots of games. You don't want to have to do extra work than you need to do. A really good sign for England on that wing attack position is Nat Haythorn Thwaite picked up that injury playing in Australia. Brilliant to see her back out on court. Understandably, with great support just around those hammies. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely you see us sporting those um, compression garments and you don't care what you look like as long as you can do the job. So it'll be good for her confidence to get out on court. As you said, in Australia, she pick up, picked up an injury. She hasn't played any games for Australia, her Australian club at the moment. And so this is an important game for her and her confidence. Williams into Clark. Yella already with another call up and there's the feed from Nat Haythorn Thwaite. So used to feeding Rachel Dunn when they used to play together at Wasps in the Super League winning team. So that will come naturally. Took the words right out of my mouth. And also Jace Clark combined there with um, those two. So a few Wasps teammates coming together again after a little while separated. Goal attack, contact. Call against Rachel Nanyonga. Peace Broscovia just talking to her. Tell her to shake that one off too. Goal attack, contact. Oh! Taking a rest. <laughs> That's right. Part time doctor, Leila Gusketh. She's back up. Checking the court, making sure it's not too slippery so there won't be no more resting in the future. So the towel's out, the official Netball World Cup towel. At a premium, those. I want one. You want, you want. Rachel Dunn, and another tumble this time for 100th capper, Joe Harden. Goal defence. Yes. Oh, and off the bat from Rachel Dunn. Joe Harden shows her how it's done. Walking away as if Dunn's going to put the ball away, turns, gets the rebound, and just sinks it. A cool customer. Spanish contact goal defence. Game of Twister. Centre, you're on the suspension already, so now you are ordered off for the rest oh, of the wow. game. Oh, wow. And Oyela has been okay, ordered off for the remainder of the, the game. game. That's a really difficult position for Uganda to be in. Okay. Fourth quarter, almost okay. 13 minutes to play, and she is going to leave the yeah. court. Oyela, as the ball was down under the post, was involved in a game of Twister with Jade Clark. They were all tangled. Clark went down. Oyela had been warned time and time again. And so, Meme, if she was unhappy first time round at wearing that centre bib, will now wear it for the rest of the match. 12 minutes and 25 seconds, the remainder of this one, Uganda will play with six players. I thought that was a very tough call um, to make. It didn't look that, it looked a bit innocuous, but it's a call that's been made. But Natalie Panagari coming on for a home World Cup for England. Leila got to lead the court. Panagari will be so happy. She's relatively local um, from Leeds, I think. Um, and so she'll just be really happy to get out there on this court. All up towards the north of England. <laughs> Anything north Captain. of London is north. <laughs> Captain of Loughborough Lightning in the Super League. And Nat Panagari, another of those whose joy was bouncing off the walls when she was called up to this England side, comes on court. I think it's an interesting thing to mention. Uganda will be struggling to play with six players. It is really difficult. But also, as England, it's really hard to play without an opponent to know when to put the ball, reading space and things. So, so this what is going to be... What do you do? It's difficult for both teams. I think you need to make sure, because you don't know defensively whether to stay on your own opponent and leave one person free, or whether you off-mark and cover the space and try to confuse the space for the opposition. Back in England hand. And lots to think about then for Uganda. Real hopes coming into this tournament. Did run England close in the Test Series, but now the task too much for them. 49 gone, the 50 up for England, 50 plays, 28. 11 minutes of this one remaining. Haythorn Thwaite, Namuaya sits on the court, despondent. Back up she gets. Tracy Neville on the bench. Brett Thompson too, another of the former England player sat alongside her. 
I think frustration creeping into Uganda's game. They, this is not the start that they would want. And we see Meme calling time with the umpire. She's moved to centre. I'm not sure if she ever plays there. And it's a difficult position to play generally. You have to be extremely fit. And if you don't play there and there's only six players, there's extra work for you to do. Play is just continuing. And once this has, once this has finished, I think time will be called. Uganda centre injury. So Meme heading off courts. You called it then, Amma Agbrazi. Just seeing the, the change made. Ruth Mimi looked unhappy to be in that centre position. We all know the work that you have to put in at centre. But another change happening. Bibs. All change with the bibs. And the reason behind these, these changes is they're going to have to run this game out. They're going to have to put in the work of seven with just the six players on court. Seems like a, a really obvious thing to say, but they're being split apart by this England team now. Yeah, definitely. Although I think they're doing quite well at covering the middle, trying to force England wide. England are still having to work the ball despite the fact that Uganda are one player down. And the fresh legs will help that. Yeah, definitely. I think this is not the start to a World Cup that you want. You know that you've got a lot of games coming up. You don't want to have to work even more. Another change. Jiva Mentor heads off court. Ebony Osara Brown back on. Another problem for Peace Proskovia. Achan on at that centre position. Red and yellow headband. Up against Panagari. She was, did well rolling off the back then. And still the fight from Peace Proskovia and this Uganda team. She'll be really frustrated at um, how the team are performing. They, they get possession, they're doing really well. They're just making, England. as I've said before, unforced errors. And Proskovia is as determined as Joe Harton. You really feel her. She's up at the line now, shouting at her team, willing them on, helping to lead them from the back of the court. Just over nine minutes left of this one remaining. Haythorn Thwaite, again, just knowing that connection with Rachel Dunn. She's going to put it there. Dunn will be there. Full time injury, goalkeeper Uganda. So another change. Namwaya calling time. Namwaya calling time there, going off the court. Although not sure if it was a predetermined injury because she's gone off and no one's actually ready to come on. She's gone off and she's lying down on the side of the court by the bench and there's no player that's replacing her. You actually only get a brief amount of time to come on, so 30 seconds to make that change. If no change was made, the umpires would have just continued the game and Uganda, in an unprecedented style, would have been playing with five players. Tell you what, though, the energy that they've shown when they've been down to six, I think they could have handled it for a couple of seconds with five as well. Back in Uganda hands. Everything against the she Grains at the moment. Osara Brown finding Williams. Haythorn Thwaite into Joe Harton. England looking to punish Uganda. Dunn. We've seen Rachel Dunn in Fast Five actions. We've seen her stand up. She loves a long one. Brilliant. And that resulted from Natalie Panagari. She's a pocket rocket. She works really hard. And she was the one that got that tip. And that resulted in that goal from Dunn there. Dunn again from the other side. Mirror image. And Fuka and Ajo just combining. Ajo in that goal defence position. Been one of the, the real strengths for Uganda and coming back on in that goal defence as well. Rachel Nanyonga. Throwing Uganda. England doing really well then to keep Uganda to one half of the court and building Good pressure. Way. And then Williams came in, didn't get the inception, but tipped it. Uganda will now reset. As a defender, you want to build pressure, so you want to put them under pressure. You want them to get the ball. You don't want them to have to have that pause and that breather Goal where the ball goes out of court and they can reset. Just step back aside. Proskovia might be pleased that Mentor has left the court. She plays in the Sun Corp um, for the team that Mentor used to play England. for, Lightning. And she's met Mentor quite a few times. Um, usually she averages 10, goal, 11, 10 or 11 goals at um, Suncorp, but today she's only been averaging 5.6. And so she'll be disappointed with that performance. Um, maybe a change having Usoro Brown might give Proskovia a bit more confidence. Rachel done with her eye in. 
shooting in the 90 percent and the reason she was brought back into this team is just for that consistency 13 from 14 93 percent rachel dunn the movement again from uganda this time too much outside the circle Outside. Frustration, I think, is building for this Ugandan team. They're doing really well. It's a thankless task playing the game with six players. When you train, you're used to training with seven players on the court. You know where each other are going. So you don't really practice for the fact that a player is going to get sent off. See how much that means to the bench, to the crowd. Joe Harton goes back. Six minutes of this one remaining. I think the Ugandan fans have realised that their team needs some support. They've started to be a bit more vocal. They're waving their flags off in the crowd. They're, a crowd can do so much for a team. They can lift you, they can score extra goals. And so the team definitely need their, their supporters now. They'll be looking ahead to games against Samoa and Scotland. And from the smallest to the biggest inside, they're all enjoying it. I think that was contact. a, I don't want to miss the netball. What can I do? I can't find the babysitter. Get, get oh, I know. Get some in. That was just the baby. Get the baby. That to was the just game. the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to be here. Action back. Contact Rachel center. Nanyonga. And there was a call against it. Jay center. Clark went flying too. Space got out, Senna. Panagari settled into it well since she's come on court, Matt Panagari. The ball read well then by Nam Fuka, but when you know that you don't have the backup behind you because you're one player down, you're not that confident to go out and hunt balls because you know that you're leaving your goalkeeper and goal defence exposed at the back. Last five minutes then of this opening game for England at the Netball World Cup. Nat Haythorn Thwaite, wing attack position on the edge of the circle. Nam Fuka alongside her. Again, just the ease of feeding into Rachel Dunn. No rebound. Uganda with it. Still with just the six players on court. A reminder that Oyela went off court. And England have scored eight goals to Uganda's two since she's been off. And Uganda still patiently working the ball. England working hard. They're doing really well to keep possession. They're being patient. Proskovia to take a long shot. Oh. Unfortunately, she doesn't put it, but, oh, sorry, Uganda, wing area. but Uganda's wing area. still with possession. Interesting, the, the throwing is actually in the wing attack area, so the centre could have taken it, but the goal attack opted to take it. I guess when you're playing without a wing attack, you're not sure what to do. Oh, and just throwing. a little bit of frustration through yeah. the hands it goes. And when you've got the, the four on you there, <laughs> and three trying to go through. Goal attack contact. Yeah, Proskova will be um, upset there with those sloppy hands. She's used to pulling the ball in. She's used to probably worse than this playing in the Australia domestic competition. She definitely is frustrated that she looks up at the scoreboard. There's one for your birthday. Memories of that to take home. Rachel Dunn and the goal just for you. Dunn on the edge of the circle. Back out to Haythorn Thwaite. Combining well with Joe Harden. She'll go long again. They've now doubled the Uganda score. 61 plays 30. Just as the ball ran away. Breather for everyone. A very welcome breather, I think. Still such high shooting percentages from both sides. Yeah, I think the difference is that England have the volume, and unfortunately for Uganda, they don't have enough volume and opportunities at going for the goal. Uganda are actually keeping possession a lot better than they did when they had seven players. I think when you have less players on the court, it makes you work that bit harder. Unfortunately there, Nanyonga called for a, a footwork. Something else on court there. Back to the goalkeeper. Maybe Uganda were hoping it was an extra player, but unfortunately oh. not. Umpire threw it at us. That was unnecessary. Caution. <laughs> I'm not sure that you can talk back to umpires. I didn't. Uh, you've obviously not really played at the international level, but they get a bit frustrated when you talk back at them. 
Is it only now you realise I haven't played at international level? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, is it only now that I realise that I shouldn't talk back to umpires? Right. Both. The voice of Amma oh, Agbwazi. I've already cautioned you for obstruction, so it's a warning now. Get a warning away. now. Oh, there is a tightrope and it's players. being trod at the moment by Uganda. Definitely. Um, sometimes in domestic competitions, if you get sent off in a game, it has an effect or impact Contact on the following game. Defense. So you might, if you get suspended in two consecutive Contact games, you then have a suspension in the third Step game. At the moment, there is no rule like that. So um, Oyela will only be suspended for this game and she will be able to play in the next Uganda. game. Minute and a half left then of this one. Ball landed by Nanfuka. Goes back out. Score just out for the moment. 63 plays 30. England with the lead. 125 left in this game. Good take and land from Peace Proskovia. Amazing from Peace there. Sandwich between two defenders. Plucks the ball. Hands come out from nowhere. And she scores. One minute and 10 seconds left of this game. 63-31. The ball fed in to Rachel Dunn. This to make it 64. The final minute of the game. England just putting their foot down again. Rachel Uganda Dunn cope with the six though. Rachel Dunn is really good at taking that ball and protecting it from the defenders. She almost leaves Stage one foot behind, close to the post, Jonathan, reaches contact. with her huge arm span, the plucks the ball in and turns and puts it away. 64-31, Peace Proskovia leans in to the side and the 32 up for Proskovia. She shot 20 from 23, 87% for Peace Proskovia. 64-32, the score in this one, just off the back. 20 seconds left on the game. Uganda will build from the back. They won't be aware as the time goes off inside the arena. They'll need to be quick in the transition. Can they find the bullet ball in? Stretches everything, does Peace Proskovia. Final 10 seconds of this. And now the umpire has just, the umpire's just held time on this one. They'll have time just to take this. The step in from Rachel Nanyonga, but they can't beat the whistle. 64-32 then. The win goes the way of England, but for the last quarter, for much of that last quarter, just up to six players. So well Uganda coped with being down to six on court. That will have taken a lot out of their legs. The energy that they showed on court too. They've got other contests to come against Samoa and Scotland, but for England and for this crowd inside Liverpool, this was all about putting out a performance to show that they mean business in this World Cup. As the huddle happens on court, 64-32. The brilliant sign in any game of netball is that huddle at the end. No matter what the contest was on court, Amma Agwazi and England were in a contest. There was body on body. We had a player suspended, then the same player sent. At times we thought we might get another player sent. But you began to actually seem to adapt well to that, they as did well as they could. They did adapt really, really well. And I think it would be a bit very frustrating for them, but also um, an education session. So it's not very often that players get suspended from play. So you typically don't really know what to do. So they will be um, upset about what's just happened. England, however, confident take from that. We see Joe Hart in there, 100th cap, very happy. Shooting at 83%, played goal, shooter goal attack. A great way to start the World Cup. 100 caps for Joe Harton, 64 on the board for England. They've beaten Uganda, 64-32. They enjoyed that inside. The, is that Madonna look-alike who was on her feet? I don't know if you saw her. We've heard a lot of Madonna songs during this game already in the background. Still the Uganda fans are jumping and they will look at those next two games and think there's a real possibility that they can take on. Yeah, definitely. I think Uganda came here to show that they are a top African nation. They are challenging for the top, and so they will be frustrated with that. But their fans, as you said, they're still here, they're still backing their team, and it will be interesting to see what else they can do in this group. Some real key moments on court for those players that have come back from injury and got their caps. But let's see who's been named player of the match. Thanks very much.
much, Helen. We saw your face when you walked out there. You seemed stunned by that wall of noise. What was it like? It was incredible. Um, yeah, I've never played in front of a crowd that excited before, and it was, yeah, quite spine tingling to walk out in front of that crowd. And a home World Cup is something that you dream of, and to finally get the first game out of the way feels like a big relief. Um, and yeah, a good win from the girls. Said there was a few nerves. You said you just wanted to get out there and, and nail that first shot. It didn't look like any of you were particularly worried. Oh no, we definitely were nervous. Uh, I'm rooming with Charles Pittman and we were saying we've got nerves, but I think it was a, a good thing. And yeah, we just wanted to get out there and, and play the sport we love. And finally that game's over and we can look ahead to the next ones. Saw a lot of passion, a lot of shouting, a lot of getting the crowd involved. I bet that was pretty easy to do, wasn't it, this evening? Yeah, it was. The crowd were amazing, but yeah, I like to give them a little bit extra. I think they can be your eighth player out there and yeah, they give us a lot of energy. So it's always nice to get them involved and get them cheering for us. Words on Jo Harton. She's your rival, isn't she? Week in, week out over in Sydney. Good to be back alongside her as pals on her 100th cap today. Yeah, it's very good to be back alongside Jo. Obviously, she's an amazing player, world class, and she has been for many, many years. And yeah, to be with her when she gets her 100th cap is really special. And I looked up to her as a young girl and to finally play with her is an honour. So yeah, congratulations, Jo, when you watch this. Um, she's incredible. Well played today. You are our player of the match. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Helen. Helen Housby always with a word for the crowd. They have loved having their family follow them at the Commonwealth Games in Australia. But here is special, this whole crowd behind the mama. Really special. And Helen's from um, up north as well. And so she gets a bit of local support here. But um, also, I think we saw there Tracy hugging the players. I think all the girls will just have been happy to get that game underway and get it over with. And I think Tracy, in those hugs, was probably happy to just um, let off a bit of steam. We've won the game, we've settled, we've started. It was all about setting up and playing a Uganda side that experienced them in a test as well. England against Uganda, first test done. Let's hear from the England coach. Thanks very much. Well, it was certainly eventful out there, but how play, pleased were you that uh, your England team managed to keep their focus and their mind on their job? Yeah, I think the first game's always a difficult one, and we know the She Cranes would bring um, their A game. We've had difficult test matches against them before, um, but what I was really pleased with is the way the um, umpires managed the game. I think the way our players kept control, got on with the things that we wanted to achieve in that game, which was persistence, keep chugging it out, and I think they did that really well, and I think every single person that went on made it impacts which is really pleasing to see at this stage in the competition. I know that a lot of the players said they did feel a little bit nervous. They didn't look it though, did they? <laughs> I think I wanted to go home at one point. <laughs> which point was that, Tracy? I think, I think when we <laughs> before the game actually. <laughs> you didn't look that happy. I mean, not that you didn't look happy, but you looked a bit <laughs> awestruck when you walked out. I think, you know, it's quite an intimidating arena. Like I said to you before, we're not used to seeing at a World Championship so much um, passion for our team. You know, um, I think my assistant coach said to me, your fans are brutal. And I was like, I know, like Northern fans, true grit. And the fans out there are absolutely amazing. So thank you for your support. You had an idea in your mind, no doubt, about what sort of performance you wanted. How close was that? Um, definitely. Like we, if we come away and said to me at the start of the game, we win by 30 goals. Um, I think I'd be so pleased and, and been able to make the changes that I was able to make. Um, I think the She Cranes at one point just lost a little bit of their momentum and a little bit of control of the game, which enabled us to, to obviously take the momentum on. But there was some things in there that I wasn't quite pleased with. However, this is the first game. Um, there was a lot, a lot of nerves out there. World Championships, obviously, congratulations to Joe as well. It was her 100th cap. And there were a lot of people making their debut as well. So. There was just a lot going on and a new captain as well. So everything was going on today. But do you know what? So proud of the Roses and the way they handle themselves. Just finally, Helen Housby was our player of the match, was, was the official Netball World Cup player of the match. But a word on Jo Harton today because she won her 100th cap, didn't she? And she's been a phenomenal servant and she looks as good as ever out there. Do you know, when someone gave me this England job to come in as a shooter, to, to coach one of the world's best shooters, the most creative, I call her a maverick because you never know what to expect from her. She can turn a game round, she can shoot from anywhere in the circle. She's an absolute... She's just behind you. Coach. Look at her. Um, I actually disagree. I think Joe Harton should have got the world. Um, should have got the uh, man of the match today. I think she was deservedly. That's why we left her on. We said, if you're going to play 100 caps, you play every single minute of that game. And I said to her, I want 100 shots and I want 100 movements. And I think she did br brilliantly today. Well played. You're off and running, Tracy. Thank you. <laughs>